of this video you will be able to have Catalina installed on your system, Windows 11 or any other Windows. We have made this installation easy so you can have a better understanding about what is the process. Let me guide you through. Let me show you the steps. You will get the knowledge how to install on VMware. This is the version that we are going to install on this video so you can have an idea. So let's begin. Good day guys. On this video we're going to learn how to install macOS Catalina using the latest software called VMware. I'm going to show you how to download, configure and also install Catalina. Let's begin. For doing that, we're going to open the following links. I'm going to leave you this link in the description below. Once you are on this link, go to downloads and make sure to use the one that you need, right? In this case, I'm going to use the Windows 64 bits operating system. Click on download and this is the first uh, this is the first software that we're going to use and then for the second link i'm going to leave you on the description below will be the unlocker the unlocker basically what it does is that enable the setting to install mac os i'm going to show you later make sure to click on unlocker and that will start the download now I have it here just make sure to extract the folder and I have here the installation I'm going to run as administrator and then I click yes and this is going to start once you have reached this part click on next then I accept the terms and the license then click next, next, and next, and then install. Remember, this software is free. You can use this software for non-commercial purposes, right? VMware Workstation Player 16. This is the latest update. Now that we have installed the VMware Workstation 16 player, we go to the link that has been created on the desktop. One thing that you will notice is that when you create a new virtual machine, then you select the ISO that you already downloaded, click on next. It doesn't give you the option to install a Mac OS, right? But I'm going to show you how to unlock this feature. Then we close here. We go to the folder, we create, go to unlocker, then click on install run as administrator and this will run a command on the background for VMware services and that's it as you can see here now we go to this again we open the icon on VMware and this time when when we are creating the the virtual machine we click on next it automatically show you Apple Mac OS X. That means that is the software. Now make sure to select the 10.15 and then we click on next. On this part, make sure to select the location where you are going to create the folder for the operating system. Next, click next. Leave it as default here next and then customize hardware on this part make sure to put the amount of memory that you're going to use i'm going to leave it as a kids then the amount of processors that you're going to use I'm going to put four or you can leave two okay then the iso napped leave it as default present leave it as default sound card leave it as default and the display leave it as default then close here then finish here and finally we have our virtual machine created okay now 
something that I will recommend to do before launching the application is that you have to go to the following folder virtual machines I have it on, on, on my documents it's a folder that is called virtual machines make sure to remember the path that you created the folder now I go to this folder here what I'm going to look is for this this one the one that has BMX if you are not able to see that extension go to properties go to options then go to that part and then scroll down make sure to uncheck the one that says high extension for known file types and then okay and it will show you this now what I'm going to do is type one line on the file open notepad and I'm going to put something here at the bottom I'm going to leave you this in the description below so you can have it this is the command that we need to copy then we go back to the notepad and then we paste it here and then we click on save then we close here and we continue with the installation now that we have completed that we power on the machine and the installation will begin we have to be patient because this take around 30 minutes 15 minutes that depends on the capabilities that your machine has right the processors and the memory ram and also if your this drive is ssd or it's the normal one but we're going to install okay just one moment now the first part of the installation is about to begin we're going to show you the simple steps that you need to follow in order to make this installation easy and faster now when we have this screen here you need to select language first I'm going to skip this part click here and then this is something that you need to be careful because if you don't configure this like that it will give you an error go to this utility then once you are on that make sure to properly select this part here and make sure to verify this is the correct amount that you have previously selected now go here erase and then put the name of the hard disk drive that you would like to have then on format make sure to select APFS and then on this part leave it as default then click erase and that's it done then we go to close this tab here and then we go to install macOS click continue and then click continue agree agree select the disk install and that is going to be the first part just one moment we're going to pause the video here so we can continue later on okay if you notice um, the installation here is better because it runs faster so that means the installation will take less than VirtualBox comparing with VirtualBox the installation here is better as well remember the description below I'm going to leave all the links where we have downloaded the files thank you now we have to select the language scroll down and make the selection then click continue written and spoken languages continue data privacy continue transfer information to this mac if you have another mac on real life right you can use this option here or from a windows pc continue 
this is if you have an Apple ID, right? Set up later. Skip. Terms and condition. Agree. Agree. Now we're going to create the user. And then we're going to put the password. And it's creating the account. Just press setup. Continue. Analytics. Continue. And then on the screen time, click continue. Siri helps you to get things done just by asking. Enable Ask Siri. You can continue. Improve Siri dictation. Not now. Continue. And the option that you wish, right? Dark mode is better for me, but you can leave it as light as well. Going to leave it as dark mode, continue. We're almost finished, guys. And I'm going to show you how to install the VMware tools. Now, once you are on this screen, it will ask you for updates. You can put later, remind me tomorrow or another day. Uh, you can you can see here that there is a disk we have to click on it and eject that one then we go to player go to removal devices go to settings here and then on the ISO that we just download we have another ISO VMware tools click on open I'm going to leave that ISO link on the description below so you can have it, then continue. Then go back to player, removable devices, CD, connect. That will show you the VMware tools. Now for this part here, let me guide you through. So you have to click install VMware tools, click continue then install when this software finishes installing you must restart your computer are you sure you want to continue yes now we enter our password and it's asking us for open security preferences and if you can see here, it says system software from developer VMware was locked. Then we just click on this icon here and enter our password like that. We unlock here and then allow. Okay, then click OK. Then minimize this here and the installation will continue properly. We have to be patient, we're about to finish here. If you are not getting that pop-up, just simply go to settings. And you will see this screen here. Go to security and privacy, and then you will be able to see this part. Now in the meantime, the installation goes. Uh, if you want to configure or put some effects here, you click on Dock preferences and size magnification as you can see here I'm going to leave it as like that and if you want to put it on the left on the right on the bottom and finally the installation has been completed now we must restart the computer and now as you can see here we have this screen enter our password and we close this tab here i'm going to show you the full screen and for the full screen just click here and that's it well, guys, we have come to the last part of the video. I hope you like it. And if you have questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching.